So I wanted to thank the Hollywood Critics Association and Scott Menzel for giving it this award. It's such an honor for someone like me. I'm a scrappy New York producer, and um, it means a lot. Um, I wanted to just say a thing, and I'll try to make it for you we've all been sitting here. Um, it took me a while to figure out what my purpose was in this business. As a young producer, it is often enough to get a film made and into a festival. That is the victory. Um, but in 2009, nine, my former partners and I were presented with the script of The Kids Are All Right. It was a project that was incredibly well written. It had an incredible cast, a talented director named Lisa Chalodenko, and yet it was a movie that no financier would make. Everyone kept saying it was too niche, not something that general audiences would come out to see. And that was my light bulb moment. I remember thinking, this is a story about a modern family, and it's just really good. What if we could reach general audiences with this? What an opportunity to change some hearts and minds. So piece by piece, we scraped together a little over $4 million, and that film went on to be a huge success commercially, critically, and ideologically. And so from that moment on, that became my mission. I wanted to develop and produce films that were entertaining, but also created a forum for conversation and inspiration. I wanted to produce films about the triumph of the human spirit, and that's what I've been trying to do ever since. A piece of donation, Hello, My Name is Doris, Patty Cakes, and now Honey Boy and Harriet. These are movies that have moved people, and they're movies that I took risks on, and I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am to have sat with Alman Shaya and looked Shaya in the eye and told him that I would back him when very few people were willing to do that. I can't tell you how proud I am to have developed Harriet for these last five years with that Chase and Casey Lemons and to have people come up and thank me for it. I think we are living in a time of great opportunity and great creativity. The first filmmakers who did not have an opportunity even five years ago are seeing that the doors opening is only by a crack. People like Oma Morel are advocating to bring others up as she herself is just being welcomed into the room. Um, a story like Harry Tubman is finally on the big screen after years of laying dormant at Disney. Although our industry is far from perfect and we have so much work to do, I believe it is filled with people who have great minds and good hearts and desire to create important and impactful material, content that has the power to educate, to entertain, to inspire. I'm proud to be working in this era. I'm proud to have made the films I've made. Um, I want to thank my mom, who's always told me I could do anything I wanted to in this life, and tells me every day that I'm a formidable person. Um, to my dad for being my example of artistic integrity. To Riva, Jordana, Becca, Mike, and Ray, the best friends and creative collaborators I could have ever dreamed of. Thank you for being here. And to my dear friend Pete Pastorelli, who's always such a capable and incredible line producer, and who made it impossible. To my kids who are such good, smart, funny people and forgive me when I'm traveling. And finally to my husband for serving as my moral compass and the rock of my life. And thanks to you all for doing such good work with such integrity. Um, you've touched many hearts with your work and your commitment to your craft. Thank you so much.